Hello again YouTube. Small how-to video on using the G71 turning cycle on XC609T. I had somebody asking me on the comments and telling they have a problem with the G71 turning cycle, they get an error with it. Well, it's probably just something you overlooked or something you mis mistook on these parameters. Okay, the first you put your G50, which is your reference point, then your tool, M3, spindle speed, starting point. Then you come to the C G71, and the first you, when you type it, is your, is your cutting depth. And this is on on my machine, I set it to radi radius, so it's 0 0.5 millimeters on a diameter. And you put your R, that's your retract, how much you retract. This is a general pa parameter. Then you put the G71 again, and the P parameter is your starting point on your um, it's your starting block where you start and on my case it's P070 because I start at N070 and that's the point where it starts the cycle and the Q090 is my ending point and that is N090 you need to use the N numbers on this one or the cycle won't work because it needs a starting point and a finishing point and then the second U is your finishing allowance how much you want to use when you do a finishing cut that one the U is on X and the W <coughs> the double you is your Z finishing allowance and the R in this case is also the retract height then comes your feed I use this 200 millimeters a minute and then there's your speed if you want to set, set, set your speed different on the cycle if you put multiple cycles on the same program and then comes your cycle coordinates x0, z0, that's where I start the g0, z0, sorry my mistake and then you get to the g1, x80 and your feed 200 G. you always need to put your feed on the first feed command on the G1 because if you don't have feed there it will error out no feed set and then your second coordinate point G1 Z minus 14 so it'll cut the X to 80 millimeters and the C and Z to minus 14 and it'll cut from your starting point X95 it takes half a millimeter per pass so long that it will get to the x80 and then comes g70 that is your finishing pass and same p070 q090 because that's the starting point of your coordinates and the ending point on the cycle and then you home g a x86 and t z2 m5 and m30 stops the cycle but yeah those are all the parameters that you need and the most important ones are the p and q parameters if you set those wrong the, the machine don't know where you want to start the cycle and end it and the first feed parameter here you need to have it after the first G1. You need the feed because the machine will don't the machine doesn't know what you want to do. If you just have this coordinate, it'll 
see you want feed feed rate move x 80 but there's no feed rate the machine er error out he it doesn't know the feed but yeah i'll start this cycle i have just clamped something on the spindle to keep the chuck not moving it'll cut just air so here we go sorry put it on auto mode first idiot and then go <laughs> Here you see it cutting air, second move, it takes 0.5 every time it goes, 93, 92.5 and so on, all the way up to x80 by year. I'll just reset this, there's no point watching me cutting air. But I hope this helps you who asked about it. And here's a sample program. Well, you, you've been watching it for like five minutes now. But yeah, that's how you use G71 on this controller. And same goes to all of the Fanuc related cycles. You need to put your N numbers on there if you want to cut something with the cycle. Yeah, that's it for today. You all stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.